Okay, when you open InDesign, this is what you'll see, or something similar. These uh, icons you see down here, these are the files that I've been working on recently. So your recent files will be populated here. <clears throat> so yours will look different. Um, to get us started, to get going here, uh, click on File, New, Document, click on that. And the stuff that you've done recently, the formats that you've used recently will be populated here, so yours will look different here. But the main thing that I want you to notice um, in this new document window, we have tabs. We have print, web, and mobile. In this course, we're only going to be using print and web. For this exercise, choose web. And you should have a choice here, among here, that says 800 by 600. There should be one there. If you don't have, if you do have 800 by 600, select it and then click create. If you don't have 800 by 600, simply type in 800 for width over here, 600 for height, and make sure you're in pixels, not inches, right? Because if we have 800 inches by 600 inches, that's going to be a humongous file and you're going to have some problems there. Okay, so make sure it's 800 by 600 pixels and click create. And before we move on, I just want to point out some stuff in the, uh, well, first of all, let's, we never work on an untitled document. So let's save our file first. Okay, so in the world of Adobe, here's the file name right here. It says untitled. That is a big no-no. Never work on an untitled document. So the first thing I want you to do is click file, save as, and then you're going to navigate to the, um, you know, the folder that you created, you know, for this course. So let me, give me a second and let me get there because my, I have like a really complicated folder structure here and it's going to take me a minute. Okay, so here's uh, my school stuff and here's the course folder I created. Now I suggest that for every exercise and every project, you can group them later on as the course goes on, but make a folder for uh, this exercise. Okay, so I got my course uh, folder selected. I'm going to make a new folder. I'm going to call it InDesign EX1 for exercise one folder. And your folder names just have to make sense to you. Okay, it, as, as long as it's logical to you, you're that's fine. Okay, so there's my exercise folder. So now here's the thing. Now do this. Follow the naming convention because it makes my life easier. InDesign, EX1, and then your name. And I'll stick my name in here because it's, it's me. So I want you to use that file name. InDesign, EX1, your name. INDD is InDesign document. Click Save. Okay, so now it's safe and sound in its own folder and we know where it is. Before I move on here, a um, couple things. Adobe products, uh, InDesign, Photoshop, and Illustrator, they all have the toolbar in a vertical on the left. Typically, you can change it, but that's how the default goes. And on the right, InDesign is a little bit different than Photoshop and Illustrator, uh, but on the right, there's usually palettes and different choices um, for layouts and so on, which we'll talk about as the semester goes on. For this exercise, we're only gonna use a few of these tools. Uh, if you hover over a tool, you get a tool tip that says, you know, this one is the selection tool, and you see the, like in parentheses, V escape. That means if you hit the letter V on the keyboard, you can, you can go to the selection tool rather than clicking it. So we're going to use the selection tool, the direct select tool, the type tool, just a little tiny bit, not a lot. Uh, we will use the pen tool. And then we're going to use this, uh, it says rectangle tool when I hover over it. But if I hit the little drop down menu, I got ellipse tool and polygon tool. We're going to use that stuff. In the uh, whoops, let me close it. In the upper left, um, you have the, these menus available. File is for saving and exporting and a lot of other stuff. Uh, edit we'll get into later. We're not going to do much with that. Um, 
the object menu will allow you to arrange uh, arrange objects uh, and change the parameters of objects, which we, we will use this a little bit in this exercise. Here's what I want you to be aware of. Uh, view. Okay, hover over view, go to screen mode and make sure you're in normal uh, screen mode. Um, the only two we're going to use in this course are normal and preview, and I'll, I'll show you that in a little bit later on in this exercise. Make sure you're in view, screen mode, normal. The other thing is hover over window, workspace, and make sure you're in essentials. Um, the only two we'll use in this course is essentials and essentials classic, but make sure you're in essentials for this. There's other stuff here. Um, I can activate different palettes here. If I, you know, if I select layers, I get the layers palette and stuff. And don't worry about that right now. We'll, we'll, you'll learn this stuff by doing it as we go on. Okay, so we're ready to get started on the exercise finally, um, and we'll do that in the next video.